Well, let's conclude. Oh, Dr. Swami, I have a question. Dr. Swami, Dr. Swami, I have a question for both you, MR, and perhaps even the other panel members. Uh, this present government to keep out talent and keep out people who are fighting against corruption, try to keep some people out by bringing in some age factor. <laughs> I want to know all those young people who are in the government, why did they not think of pursuing cases of corruption as vigorously as you or for that matter other members of your team? What holds them back? the youngsters and the young prime minister of 56 inches chest from fighting corruption of the Congress party and other types of corruption and black money. I want any comments from MR Venkatesh, Dr. Swami and others. What prevents them from taking a pre proactive role to fight this corruption? Why private citizen like you have to come forward to fight this corruption? Uh, In fact, uh, my, my uh, dealing with the official dumb or the babu dumb as I call it, that in the last eight years, corruption has increased manifold. There is yeah. obviously or apparently no corruption at the ministerial level, but there is extraordinary corruption at the babu dumb level. Let us be very clear. So it matters very little to me that I don't pay a minister a bribe, but I have to pay his secretary a bribe. Now, this is the sorry state of affairs. The I had tweeted also, for which I had received a lot of flack. But the fact of the matter is, IT, GST, EB, CBI, and the SFIO have become Rottweilers on the problem. And there is extortionist demand on several people, ordinary businessmen, ordinary people, which is going on in this country. So, in this particular matter, I would only say that the fight against corruption has probably not gone beyond sloganeering for the last eight years. It has to be taken to a very logical conclusion. The disproportionate amount of uh, uh, discretionary powers given to the lowest level of the bureaucracy is causing this havoc. Last week, two chartered accountants were arrested by the Gurgaon uh, office of the DST. An entire chart Chartered accountants for the first time. Chartered accountants usually never show their spine even in an expert. They suddenly became so vigorous. They came to the office, they did dharna, and, uh, and a good group of them met the finance minister to tell what is the extortionist way of functioning that is happening in the GST. So all these things unfortunately uh, continue. So it is only that there is no ministerial connection. But there is administrative corruption has increased manifold. This is the truth of the matter. So, Dr. Swami, before you respond, I have uh -huh. to cross swords with MR Venkatesh. Under yes. the Prevention of Corruption Act, if the government or the action of the minister even was to favor some industrial house or some bidder, is that not corruption? corruption sir obviously it is corruption but sir, when pavan and airline and the electronic corporation of india to public sector undertaking were auctioned and was about to be given to some benamis of anybody how do you say they could not be ministerial corruption maybe it's not coming out in the media but yes. the, uh, you cannot just bait the bureaucrats if you can't control the bureaucrats that means either you, they are paying you or you are totally inefficient. These two public sector companies now have been put on hold because there, there is some hanky-panky in the deal. Pawan Hunts and Electronic Corporation of India. What about so, Air India? Plus Air India. Everything is going on as it is going on. But these three public sector companies too, they have themselves have admitted it. So is that not also corruption where ministers have a role to play? Sir, till now, 
you and i probably are talking here nobody has alleged corruption at the ministerial level that's the point i'm trying to make it out but there is enormous corruption at the uh, bureaucratic level uh, that is what i can only say what i have faced and what i can vouch for uh, that is why i i said what i said <laughs> so please talking about your talking about minister's corruption even in this case in dr swami's case there was a finance minister who on record yeah. told the journalists that congress party just pays the money and gets out of it and there is no case so if finance minister can interfere up to that extent in a in a court case uh, is that not a corruption uh, well i mean it's a case of corruption yeah uh, you know uh, uh, venkatesh is a diplomat so he is focusing on the main issue and not getting into side issues for which you may uh, have other problems so i think uh, we won't push him any further on that but uh, this is a question on which uh, uh, so far from what uh, jagdish is saying we haven't had a single case of a minister being uh prosecuted like it in the case it was upa was there uh, of being prosecuted for corruption so whether they have been smarter in, uh, in that and all that those are other matters but the fact is that we don't have evidence just now i would also like to tell you that i am uh, i am in a very uh, interesting situation i was never asked to join the uh, mark darshan mandal uh and uh, Uh, I did get uh, a, 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 a member of parliament ship in 2016, and and there were many other posts which were offered to me. some of them uh, becoming non political and some of them going away from the country for instance the bricks bank uh, which had a oh, fantastic salary uh, but uh, i didn't want to leave the country country so i didn't go i was to meet the first president of the bricks 